Ever been in a store and witnessed a five-year-old meltdown because they didn't get their way? You know the scene. The floor throwing, the ear-splitting screams, the exasperated parent trying to maintain some semblance of order. Do you think this parent is raising a monster? Hold on a second. Maybe, just maybe, it's not all the parent's fault. Psychotherapist Sean Grover, writing for Psychology Today, argues that the rise of demanding children isn't just about bad parenting. It's about the technological tsunami that swept over our lives. Remember the good old days? No internet, no smartphones, just good old-fashioned boredom and imagination. Millennials, you know what I'm talking about. But seriously, these enemies of carefree fun. Computers, the internet, smartphones have changed the game. They've rewired our brains, especially the brains of our kids. Think about it. Instant gratification. Kids today are used to getting what they want when they want it. A click, a swipe, and boom, their desires are fulfilled. No waiting, no patience. Social media overload. Studies show that social media can increase anxiety, depression, and social isolation in kids. They're constantly bombarded with curated lives and unrealistic expectations. Digital addiction. Let's face it, our kids are glued to their screens. They'd rather text than talk, scroll than play. So, are parents to blame for raising demanding children? Not entirely. They're navigating uncharted territory, trying to raise kids in a world that's constantly changing. Let's cut them some slack and remember that technology has a huge impact on our kids' development. Maybe it's time to unplug, reconnect, and teach our kids the importance of patience, empathy, and real-life interaction.